In 2009, I was working at my local Pizza Hut in my small town. As a shift manager, I was in college and I met a gentleman named Matt that introduced me to a business opportunity. And he showed me the amount of money that I could potentially make if I joined his company. So I asked him how much did he make? He said well over six figures. I saw the car that he pulled up in the parking lot. It was like a 2006, 2007 Honda Pilot. Not a bad car, but for the numbers that he was showing me, I'm like, why aren't you driving like a Mercedes or a BMW or one of these flashy cars that I see on TV? And then something he said to me that stuck with me the rest of my life still to this day without missing a beat he goes why would i do that this car gets me where i need to go just fine i get from a to b comfortably the air conditioner works we're in louisiana why do i need that and that stuck with me for the rest of my life still to this day now fast forward to 2020 COVID hits we're all locked down i start this gjx moniker this gjx channel i'm still gaming on my big screen television have physical games i'm as casual as casual can be as a lot of you are so i start thinking maybe i need to upgrade my gaming equipment so i stumbled across this video by a streamer by the name of Nick Merckx and it was like the ultimate gaming room $30,000 or something like that and I watched that video and I saw the unbelievable gaming setup that he had so I immediately I thought oh I need to do the same thing so I went and bought the NZXT PC I went and bought the monitors do this the lights do this now fast forward almost four years and I look around me and I go to my Steam library and I see a list of video games. I go to my PlayStation library, I see a list of video games. I go to my Xbox PC, a Game Pass, I see a list of games. I got some of these games behind me. And still I sit here at times and go, I think I had a lot more fun gaming whenever I was broke and I didn't have so many options. for game pass and before the subscription services especially whenever you're young and you have a lack of responsibility you know you don't have the kids the wife or the jobs or the mortgages all that whenever you're younger you're able to kind of kick back and relax and just focus on a lot of shit that don't really matter as much but the beautiful part of that is your money and your financial resources are limited you have to make your video game choices very seriously you don't have a chance to go buy rise of the ronin and dragon's dogma 2 in the same month and not really give a damn you really have to understand like this is a game that i want and that is a feeling that I hadn't had in a long time. And I know a lot of you may have not had that as well. Being from a small town like I am, we didn't have a GameStop or a Blockbuster. We had a regular Walmart that closed at 7 p.m. And we had a very, very shitty local rental store. We was able to rent a game for like $7 for three days. And that's if they had a special on the weekend. And that's really how we determined if we really liked the game. Because after you rent it, now you scratch that itch. So now you know, okay, I need to save up my money, my, my, my allowance, whatever the y'all have dope money no, <laughs> however you occurred your funds now you know i need to save up just 49.99 so i can go buy you know this game this mario game this playstation tomb raider game that i've rented over the last few days now i know i want it now this is serious and i can remember as a kid whenever that employee goes and unlock that sliding glass that you've been staring at for months maybe even a year and they finally unslide that glass and get out that game for you and walk over to the register and you just felt that aura that mana as the rock says and that is something that you it's hard to describe it but it was like almost euphoric now, even now you still can go to walmart and do this same thing but for whatever reason i guess because technology maybe it's whatever it is it don't hit the same as it did now if you flash forward to today there's so many options you got cloud gaming stream this game you got you can play games on your phone endless options of playing video games so that sense of urgency is not what it used to be even if you're broke you still have options like right now the best deal in video game is if you go to buy xbox series x and get that monthly game pass that is a steal of a deal i can imagine the kid that's in college just scraping two nickels together is eating little caesars every other night or raymond noodles and you're able to play the the hot new game starfield or the hot new game to see if these with your friends oh my god for 15 dollars a month or whatever the number is i mean that is a steal of a deal for a console that costs 200 dollars can you imagine the amount of fun they're probably having they're not on twitter they're not on social media they're not like super nerds like me and you if you're watching this video they're just vibing out they're super casual and that was me in 2019 before i jumped into all of this and i had the time of my life i wasn't worrying about reviews or trailers or 30 
FPS or 60 FPS. None of that really mattered. I saw an image on Twitter a while back ago, and it was one of those rate my setup things. It was like a TV on the ground with the remote. The guy had a drink and a pizza. So I saw that, and of course, the initial reaction is to laugh. And I'm thinking, I wonder who's having more fun. The guy in the $10,000 setup, the PC and the wires and the this and the that and, and, and the microphone. Or that guy or that girl over there with a Nintendo Switch on the ground without care in the world. You tell me. I guess it's all just perspective. So if you're one of the broke gamers out there right now and you're watching this and you can relate to it, I just want to say you won't always be where you are right now. There's going to be elevations. You're going to go levels up. You're going to start to get more money. But I ask you, I beg of you to remember that, to keep that in the back of your mind like I kept in the back of my mind what Matt told me. You don't need all this shit. Choose your games wisely. Make sure it's a game that you want and not a game that everyone is telling you that you should want.